Hey honeys, welcome to today's video where I will be trying out some new foot care goodies that I personally bought from Ulta for a much needed at home pedicure treatment. So first things first, I had to buy a foot basin before I could do this so I got this one off of Amazon. It is collapsible which makes it super easy to soar. I put some hot sink water in there and just soaked my feet to soften up my skin. And this felt so good girl, my skin gets real hot. The first treatment we're going to do is this leg mask by Nair. At first I thought it was like like a face smash but for your legs then I remembered oh Nair removes hair I don't know that completely slipped my mind when I bought it so this is a mask as well as a hair remover in one and it smelled really good it felt really good and it removed the hair really well I was really impressed with how it made my skin feel and how easy that hair came off I haven't used Nair in years so I was super satisfied with the outcome my legs were baby bottom smooth not a hair was left Next, we're going to go ahead and remove some of the dead skin on my foot. I didn't have much. My feet are pretty smooth for the most part. But this grossed me out just a little bit. It gave me the heebie-jeebies because you can just slowly see the dead skin go through the little crates. Like it just looked like I was grating cheese off my foot, girl. <laughs> but it was kind of satisfying. And right here, you can see how it's catching all of the dead skin on my foot. And right here, oh my gosh, it's just coming out like shredded cheese, girl. Gave me the heebie-jeebies. Next, we're going to go ahead and scrub our feet with this petty scrub. It actually was very gentle. It wasn't harsh or super abrasive at all. And it smelled so divine. So good. Like, I didn't want to stop scrubbing my feet with this because it smelled so good. Like, I've never smelled this scent before. It was so divine. So captivating. So intoxicating. <laughs> I did some of these treatments out of order like I should have used the actual foot scrub first. But I was really just testing all of these products out. And honestly, I chose some really good products because the outcome of my feet, so smooth. Next, we're going to go ahead and use this foot scrub that I see Haley Gamba rave about all the time i love her content love you girl she's like the self-care queen and she always mentions this foot scrub so i had to try it it's not really that abrasive either it's very gentle very soft very smooth very cooling i didn't really like the scent of this one but it felt really good nonetheless so i'm just gonna go ahead and give my feet one last scrub dub dub and while you're here be sure to let me know your favorite foot care products down below the ones that i haven't used in this video and let's put each the one to some good products for our self-care Sunday. After all of that scrubbing is done, I am going to go ahead and apply a foot mask by Aveeno. This one is very nourishing. It's not the one that makes your skin peel or anything. Just a very nourishing foot mask to soften the skin even further, add back some nourishment, and overall just pamper your feet. I left it on for about an hour. It said 10 minutes on the package, but I was watching some YouTube videos, girl. So it was on for about an hour. I just go ahead and slip it on off and just rub the excess back into my foot. And this this softened the foot real good, like even further than it was already softened from all the scrubbing. This felt so good. I definitely want to stock up on these Aveeno foot masks. The pampering does not stop there. I picked up Heel Genius from Soap and Glory because I've seen Tierra Walker rave about it. I love her content as well. So I'm just going to slather this on. I'm not going to rub it in all the way because I'm going to go ahead and put on some Alo socks. You know the socks that you put on? once you lather your foot in like Vaseline. Yes, I picked these up from Earth Therapeutics. These felt so luxurious, very plush. I love the texture of them. They're not too squishy, but they're very plush, very luxurious, very soft. I love the texture of these socks. And I left this one for about an hour because we have to get these toenails together, okay? They're looking a little busted, so we are gonna do our toes after we nourish our skin. Thank you. 
and I'm just gonna rub the excess of that heel genius onto my legs since I didn't nourish my legs after wiping off that mask just to get the excess off of my hands. All right, after my hour of like watching YouTube videos, eating, drinking some sangria, now it is time to do our toes. Now my toes really weren't in the shape to polish them, so I bought these toenail press-ons by Kiss. I found these at Walgreens. These aren't from Ulta, by the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these because some of my toenails ripped off, which made the, the shape, you know, not ideal. So I decided if I put these on, you know, it'll make my shape ideal and just overall make my toes look better. Now I'm very rusty with painting my toenails because honestly, I haven't painted my toenails since the beginning of quarantine since the beginning of this pandemic i have just been neglecting my toenails and letting them go so this paint job girl it isn't the best okay don't come for me i should have just applied the press ons and just put some clear polish over top and call it a day but i just wanted to take it there and add some polish on top so girl don't come for my toenail polish job it's a little rusty okay but she looks kind of cute in the end i mean i kind of got it together in the end but i would highly recommend these toenail press-ons like if you don't have the ideal toenail shape some of us don't okay girl it's okay these give you that ideal toenail shape like i love the shape and they fit the toes perfectly and i would say i have pretty small nail beds like my nail beds aren't the longest or the biggest and they fit my nail beds my little old nail beds and i'm just using the kiss brush on nail glue i really love the brush on nail glue it has a really strong hold like when I have press-ons on my nails, the ones that you see in this video right now, my press-ons on my like hands, girl, they be lasting a whole week. Like the brush on nail glue is really good. So wrap a glass of wine, champagne, whatever your drink of choice is, and just watch me get my toenails together to the best of my ability. After we've shaped our press-ons to the best of our ability, I am gonna go ahead and put on Funny Bunny by OPI. I have the Infinite Shine Trio. Um, so you have a base, the polish, and a top coat. I should have just, you know, like I said, just put on a top coat because I really didn't need polish. The color of the press-ons was ideal as it was, but you know, I just decided to put on a little coat of Funny Bunny, which is like a very, I'd say a very transparent white. I like the shade of Funny Bunny. So, you know, you know, I was painted outside of the lines. <laughs> you can just tell I ain't painted my toes in a while. <laughs> I'm ready for outside to open back up so I can go get a much needed professional paint job done at the salon. Yes. So this completes my at-home pedicure treatment using all of the new products that I picked up from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you would like to continue to see more self-care content from me. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember to serve, honey. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.